Good morning, folks. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Big Al's Eats. We do a little breakfast this morning. My my number one son, Chris, he's coming by this morning. I told him I was going to do some salmon croquettes, and uh, he don't know it, but we're going to do brains and eggs, too, and uh, see how he likes that. I bet he ain't never eaten one. I don't believe he has. But uh, we're going to throw a little breakfast together. He's bringing by a surprise guest, and uh, I'm going to have to cook her a pop egg. Her name is Isabella. She uh, spent the night in town last night, so uh, on his way home, he's going to stop by, and we're going to eat a little breakfast and, and get some things going. Got to give a shout out this morning to uh, Kevin Adams. Uh, he's the the administrator of uh, Grill Wars. They do a fantasy football league, and uh, he's friends with some of my friends. We have mutual friends from the fire department, and uh, Kevin was out here in the neighborhood, and he stopped by and introduced himself and uh, had a brief talk. Uh, he was uh, he was in a, in a hurry. He was working today, and. Uh, you know, I thought, you know, man, come on over, let's eat some breakfast, you know, but he was working, he had to go. So, uh, hey, Kevin Adams, shout out to you. Keep them videos coming over there on Grill Wars. Love watching it. Oh, and those steaks you cooked the other night, they look good. Uh, since I've got uh, uh, smell-o-vision on my GoPro camera, I could actually smell them. So, uh, you keep them videos coming, brother, I'll keep watching. So uh, y'all get out there and y'all like and share his page, uh, Grill Wars with Kevin Adams. So uh, Chris should be here in a few minutes. I got my stuff put together and uh, I'm looking over here to the left. I've got a, a hummingbird that's uh, showed up. He's gone now. So anyway, when I move forward, it must have spawned. So anyway. We've been to get ready to go. I've got a lot of the prep work done, and uh, we're gonna get to cooking here in a few minutes. And uh, I'm gonna do a little twist on uh, the salmon croquette sa or salmon patty sandwiches. A uh, croquette's a little small thing, look like an egg. We make patties, y'all. And uh, I'm gonna do a little something special to some of those. Not all of them, but uh, you know, gotta try some new things. So anyway, y'all stick around. We'll get this thing going in a few minutes. We're ready to get this thing going now. We're going to saute some uh, onions and, uh, and some pepper. It's going to go into the brains and egg, y'all. green pepper here. And I forget the name of it. This uh, a Cuban ale. Cuban ale pepper. Nice flavor. Got a lot more flavor than the old uh, bell pepper, you know. A lot more flavor than the old bell. Everybody likes that bell, but you need to try those Cuban ales, y'all. these going, then we're going to get the salmon croquettes or the salmon patties going. Got this, this salmon mixed up, got a little flour in there as a binding agent, got an egg. Cubanelle peppers, Johnny's seasoning, got some onion in there. Let's get these patties going. Usually when I do these salmon patties, I do them real thin and usually put two salmon patties on the bread. But well, we're going to do these kind of thick today and just go with one to each sandwich.
Got a little bitty one right there. We're gonna call that one the test stage. These panties ready to flip now. Get them all flipped. Got our little test stage here. Ooh, that's gonna be good. We're gonna snack on that one. There we go. We halfway done, y'all. They're looking good. You see them? We got the Cuban nails and the, the onion saute. Get ready to do that in them brains and eggs. Alright, it's time to get these eggs going, y'all. We took the salmon patties off, tried that test steak. Man, was they good. Get these peppers back on here. Let me find them eggs. Where them eggs at? Scrambled eggs. Got a brain or two in there. Heard of brain food before. We cooking it today, y'all. Got a little cheese. Put some cheese on there. Man, this is going to be good. Right now we got the fire completely off. Ain't nothing going on with the heat. Just residual heat left over from this Blackstone cooking those salmon patties. Y'all get out there and get y'all one of these Blackstone. We scrambling eggs. Take a good look. There ain't nothing sticking to this thing. Got to get that baby seasoned up, which ain't no big task. You know, real simple. Cook the whole breakfast outside. Keep heating up your kitchen. Alright, we got these brains and eggs done. Got a little cheese in there with them, season them up with some Johnny. Time to get uh, Miss Mitty and Miss Isabella a little breakfast. I know they ain't gonna want to eat none of this. So uh, me and Chris gonna, gonna sling some hash with this right here. Alright, let's get a couple more eggs cooked. these eggs cooked for a couple of egg sandwiches. Put a little kosher salt on them eggs. Little Johnny's ain't gonna hurt nothing either, y'all. Isabella gonna love her Johnny's eggs. Alright, we got these eggs done. We're getting ready to go inside now. And make it happen, Captain. Be back in a few minutes. We're going inside where the air conditioner is. We're going to chow down on this big breakfast, y'all. Isabella says she's ready to eat. She's got her some banana nut bread, a cheese stick. And uh, I'm not sure what she's eating right there. Uh, that's a Yeah, that's a banana she's got in her hand. It's hard to tell. And she got her little pop egg there. And she got her some apple juice. Okay, she's through with that. We're going to work on an egg now. Alright, here we go, y'all. Little salmon patty. Mmm, just like I thought. Man, them eggs. I put a little 
Chipotle sauce on these, man, knocks it out of the park. Mmm, so good. Kevin Prince, I heard you won one of these salmon patties. Well, I say you missed out, brother. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth, number two. We got meeting, Chris. There's a bell day in the kitchen in there eating. They spread out pretty good, so I come in here. This uh, this salmon is something else. Very tasty. Usually make a sandwich with this with these salmon patties, with nothing but hot sauce on it. All right. Tell you what, I gotta get out of here. I gotta finish eating this stuff. Glad y'all joined me today. Let me get one more bite. Mm -hmm. A little more deep brains and egg with cheese and peppers and onions. Yeah, like I say, I got to get out of here. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to share my page. Hit the like button. Give me a comment. Let me know you've been there. You got any suggestions on what you want to see cooked? You miss shout. So, uh, bon appetit from Big Al's Eats. Have a nice day. Okay, we thought we were through. Went inside, we did all that eating. I had to come back. Me and Chris and Mitty and Isabella, we eat every salmon patty that we made. And they were very good. So what I've done, I come back, I've mixed up some more, we're going to do this again. We'll have some for later. We'll have some for breakfast tomorrow. So, let's get started again. Big Al's Eats Breakfast, Part 2. Here we go. We'll make a couple small ones here. We'll do three small ones. These will be for, for me to, and whoever else don't like it super spicy. And for us that like it kind of spicy, kicked up a, a notch or 12, I got some uh, chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. Got a couple of those chopped up with that sauce. This stuff here is so good you can eat it with a spoon. Stick that in there. Let's get that stirred up. That's going to be good right there. I guarantee you that's going to be good. Let's slap a few of these down.
been laid out now. Got just a tiny bit left. Always got to do a test take, y'all. Lay that baby right there. And kick it up one more notch. Excuse me just a minute. Get some of this homemade habanero hot sauce. I'm just going to lay it on thick on that little chest thing. Lay it on thick, y'all. That's us. We'll get these going. We'll be back in a minute. Get these babies flipped. And then we're going to uh, pack them up, take them inside, get ready for breakfast tomorrow. We just got them babies flipped, and look at the color on them. Them going to be so good. Just got them flipped. Yeah, we got about three more minutes. We'll be done again. All right, our little chest steak's done right here. I'm going to take it off and let it cool a little bit. And uh, I was talking about in the earlier videos, uh, if you wanted to get one of these, you know, you'd go to, to uh, Home Depot. Uh, I think you can get them at Walmart. I got mine through uh, Amazon. And they offer a, a discounted price. If you want to get a, 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 an additional uh, discount, you go to Bruce Mitchell, the Gator Man from uh, Swamp People. Go to his website. Or actually, if you go to uh, Blackstone's website, this is the deal. You go in there and click on the promo code. And if you type in Bruce Mitchell, They'll give you 10, 15 more percent off or something like that. But it's just, uh, you know, you can get it local, you can get it online or, or whatever. And uh, Blackstone does have excellent customer service. So uh, remember that, you know, you call, you got a problem or something, you call Blackstone, you talk to Blackstone. You know, you don't talk to people in India. You talk to people that understand English. We getting good here. Getting good here. Let's let's do that test steak now. That's the one I coated with the hot sauce. And that baby hot. Mmm, that's good. That's good with that hot sauce on there. And that's got that chipotle pepper in there with the adobo sauce. Man, they layers of flavor in that one right there, y'all. Alright. Let's get back to business here. Get these finished up, and it will be food for the day. We got them all done. Gonna pick up these hot ones first. These were the extra spicy ones. These are the ones that's got the adobo sauce. And the chipotle pepper. That fold it over. Get another piece of foil over here. These are the ones that are kind of mild. Miss Mitty just loves to like them. It's kind of spicy, you know. We we get to where we eat a lot more spicy stuff. And that's got all that. That's good to go right there, y'all. Like I like I say, thanks for coming back. Enjoy sharing this with y'all. Y'all share my page over at Big Al's Eats. Remember, my kitchen yours. Bon appetit.